Holy crap! Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. What's up guys? It's DK Wrestler from a Funko Popcast here, and in today's video, I got a package that I've been waiting months on from pop culture. But before that happens, make sure you press that subscribe button for more content like this video in the future, and press the little bell to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways, let's check it out. So like I said, today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a parcel in which I have been waiting for since... I think it's April, so if you guys remember, I'll put a little suggestion thingy above for that video. It was a self-quarantine online Funko Pop hunt I did back in April where I had ordered a certain item, which obviously if you would have seen that video, you know what the pop is inside of this box is. But if you haven't, you're in for a little bit of a treat. So after I'd gotten it in April, I didn't get my first kind of tracking info until I think it was May 4th. But at this time, you know, planes had been closed for Australians, so no packages could be put on planes and sent out to people at this time. So my package was actually sent out in a boat, which I got that notification on May 13th. And then I didn't get an update until I think it was August 2nd that this pop had finally went through customs and that it would finally be delivered, which as I'm filming this video, it is August 6th, I think. So as you guys are watching this video, it is probably weeks after I had recorded this video. So I took the shipping label off of my parcel right here, but there is still one here, but I like, you know, scratched out everything so you can't see it. So we're gonna unbox this and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's in here. So hopefully that this box is okay because it did ship out via a boat, which I have never had anything ship out through a boat before, like a legit ship, like Titanic style. It seems to be all right with the box I have here. So we have it opened. First thing we see is an airbag, which is not too bad. So you got one of these air bubble, uh, not like bubble wrap, but you see what I have. Amazon does this a lot. But what I have here for you guys today is to add to a collection I had at that point was like, you know what, I need to complete. And it's super hard to find it here in North America because the certain retailer this is held in doesn't have it on their website anymore. So it was cool to find it on Pop Culture's website and it was able to ship to Canada since a lot of their stuff is restricted when it comes to shipping out to Canada, which means if you haven't uh, ordered from there, restricted shipping means that it won't ship to Canada or the US, but it will ship anywhere else in the world. So like England, Italy, Japan, anywhere besides North America. This is really tough. That's why it's taken a while. So anyway, surprisingly, the box so far is in pretty good condition. I have gotten the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pop and Tea Bundle. That was a box lunch exclusive. I think it actually says that on the box. No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure the actual box lunch exclusive one does say box lunch exclusive on the top, but I already know going into this that this most likely will have a special edition sticker that I'm sure that the international Funko fanatics are already used to because there's no targets and all these retailers with cool stickers like you may see on my wall of pops here. So I'm going to take this out of the plastic first of all. And this is actually my second pop and tea bundle I own because... Through the secondary market, I actually got the Target exclusive pop and tea bundle for, what was it, The Office. It was the Dwight with the blonde hair, and it came with the Dwight shirt. So I'll show off the box right now that is here. This is the one side, so it shows what's going to be in it, which is a metallic blue eyes white dragon. And I already know, like, this is the front of the shirt, and that's the back, which I think it should be, like, the other way around, or even that's the front, and, like, there's nothing on the back, but it's still cool that I have this. So anyways, the first thing I will show you guys is the shirt that is in here, because it is a pop and tea bundle, brand spanking new. This came out, I think, October, November, around there of last year, in 2019, so... Here is the plastic I'm going to rip it out of, and this is folded pretty decently. I don't know why I wanted to smell it. So here, I'll show you guys right now is... Oh, I'm looking at the back, and it's really nice. So, so here's the front. It's just got this logo right here, which it's all right, but I mean, it could have been better. But then the back, guys. Look at this. 
whoo, this t-shirt is wicked. I just want to wear this backwards, honestly, but just having this shirt like this is so cool. And once again, this is actually my second Funko Pop t-shirt that I own. The first one being the Dwight from the Pop and Tea Bundle exclusive to Target. So there it is. There's the front again. So it's cool to add another Funko shirt to, I guess, my clothing because I don't really have any Funko shirts. Now I'm taking the pop out of the box. Well, I mean the t-shirt box, but here we go, guys. The metallic blue eyes, white dragon, which this is actually the second pop from the first wave that I own because I do own the dark magician. That was a hot topic exclusive. And I actually don't have any of the other ones involved in this wave, which I will show you guys. So here is the front of the box, which you have the pop animation logo, the Yu-Gi-Oh logo number 389 in the pop animation lineup. You got the more metallic -y version of blue eyes white dragon we will take this out of the box to show you guys more closely and of course normally it would be box lunch exclusive but this has the special edition sticker which actually looks very different compared to the special edition stickers i have so i guess i'm glad that i have like a newer special edition sticker or at least a different one from the other ones that i have so that's really cool and then there's more of a front view of blue eyes white dragon and then the side we have here we got the blue eyes white dragon name the 389 part of the pop art form right here pop animation and look at that more close view of blue eyes white dragon the metallic variant with his mouth open and you can see the eye and part of the wing really really nice and then the back we got over here we have a pop art form of blue eyes white dragon in this form and then we got pop animation 389 Yu-Gi-Oh. And then we got the pops involved in the very first wave of Yu-Gi-Oh that came out in 2018. So we have Yami Yugi, Seto Kaiba, the original Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is a little more blue than this one. We got Dark Magician Girl. This is the full common wave. And then you got some of the hieroglyphics going on for uh, this backing here. And it's the same with the side, which is the same thing with the Oblis, the Tormentor I had just reviewed actually a few weeks back. So uh, go check that out, little suggestion thingy above. And then you got the side view of this box, which is basically the same thing as all of the Yu-Gi-Oh pops. So you got the popified Blue Eyes White Dragon, his name, 389. And then you have the kind of gray trimming with the white hieroglyphics and like this red with gold trimming going on right here which is really really nice let's take this out of the box right now which let's check this out so here we go guys we got the metallic blue eyes white dragon you got a nice view of his face right here which i'll kind of do somewhat of a panoram view because still after so many videos I've done, I have not invested in one of those spinner things where you could put a pop on and it just spins and people usually use it for reviews. So it's got a really nice silver to it. And you actually see right here, that's where it shows like where it was like, not where it was made, but like the year it was made. Uh, so yeah, so you got that. Look at that detail with the teeth, the tongue, and especially the blue eyes. And it is so cool. Look at that, even the wings. The wings are a little flimsy. So be careful if you take this out of box, but the silver on here looks really, really nice. It looks better than what I had originally seen it through like glam shots and stuff. And this pop was made, I think 2019. It shows it's upside down, hard to see. Uh, it says Funko LLC 2019. So yeah, it was definitely made in 2019. The tail, the feet are really nice. And actually what was cool, I don't know if I can find it right now, but there it is. They actually added a plastic piece for the hands. Uh, for when it was in the box so that like no paint uh, gets scuffed on the like actual pop box oh it dropped it but on the pop box or uh, like at the window that's what I mean but overall this is a really cool pop and definitely the pop and tea bundle is worth getting all right so now I have the Funko app opened you can see that my uh, scanner is on so obviously the pop is out of the box I just have to fold it flipped upside down here so I can show you guys there's the barcode and I'm gonna see how much this is actually worth now because I paid 45 45 USD and then or not USD AUD so Australian dollars so holy crap wow what so this pop specifically this pop right here is worth 100 dollars 
Canadian. And for the whole pop and tea bundle, I pretty much paid. So like I said, 45 Australian dollar, which I think it's 35, 40 Canadian. <laughs> I did a pretty good job buying this. I kind of actually want to search up right now because in this, we actually get to see what the price of the shirt is. The shirt is somehow worth, I'll show you guys, if you guys can see, $100. $13. So that's like a combined total of like over $200, almost $215. And I only paid like $35, $40 Canadian for it, including shipping. Talk about a steal and talk about what the pandemic has done to Funko Pop values. So, oh my God. But such a great pop and I'm glad to own it in my collection. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button to let us know that you're enjoying the content being provided to you guys on this channel. Comment in the comment section below on what your thoughts are of this metallic blue eyes white dragon. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the common one better than this one? Or do you like this one better than the common one? Let us know in the comment section below. And like I said earlier, press that subscribe button for more content like this video in the future and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released because we do content every Monday and Wednesday and our weekly podcast every Friday exclusively here on YouTube. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out.